Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. First of all, want to say Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. This officially marks the New Year's, and I believe it's the year of the rat. And uh, yeah, just uh, officially the New Year. I don't know. I feel like I've been really slacking off on the videos, and I'm really gonna like push through. And I see requests for other animes, and uh, yeah, thank you for waiting. And just, just want to let you know, I see you guys, I see the comments, just uh, keep on waiting. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to jump into some of My Hero Academia Season 4 episode. I believe it's 14 and uh, I'm due 15 when it comes out, so yeah, let's just jump into episode 77, 78. And play. Alright, this is it. This is... Whoa, his voice is so raspy. Holy shit, that forming and... Man, this is Izuku at 100%. Yeah, of course he couldn't have done it without Eddie, but... Imagine the future. Oh my god, he pulled a loopy. Oh shoot, the hair. And the last episode was definitely one of the most emotional episodes. Like, I don't know, top three, top five. He mamoru to kimeta. Yakusoku wa kono mune ni. I'm not sure if they're gonna use this opening for the next uh, episode just because I realized like we're already 14 that's more than halfway through because usually they switch it up around like 12 13 but then I get it this arc isn't over like is this episode like it is there gonna be more to come because you know overhaul has been defeated like Izuku went all out he went full 100% which like I said he couldn't have done that without Eddie because yeah this is the glimpse of the future this is all might this is Izuku right now is what all might is and he's got the same drive he's got the same power yeah but Eddie is definitely worth fighting for like even if he didn't have her I know like it's been mentioned multiple times like by the nurse like you can't keep going a hundred you're going to like injure yourself so much that you can rewind that you uh can't be fixed but you know seeing eddie's powers it's like you could rewind so many things but i hope they don't do that too much and of course at the end with sir night eye i think he smiled just because he saw a different future and let me move a little oh yeah Masaka indeed. Kai. But is this what the boss wanted? I know it's for Kai. Oh, who came in? Yes, the swordfish. All right, everything seems to be calming down. Oh, and he's got Le Medion. He should be fine, right? Because Eddie would be able to reverse any wounds. And oh, he's already out. Oh shoot! If she overexerts the power, he said you could reverse back to 
a monkey. Flashback? Oh. You had good intentions, so. Oh, this is not the end. He's still going even with his mind out. Oh, God. Nice, Uraraka. <laughs> Yeah, Night Eye, I hope he's okay. He's got a huge... Oh, sh Yeah, and she's like strapped onto him, so... Someone has to actually unwrap her. Yeah, she has no control of her quirk. Who can only... Only... <sighs> yeah, definitely hope Lemirion is okay. In terms of he can get his quirk back. And physically. Physically, I think he's okay. League of Villains just walked off. I mean, they didn't, they said it themselves. They didn't really care what happened. They're just using this to their own benefits. Wow, this really is the aftermath. I hope they can, you know, wake up the Gramps, the leader, so he can see his granddaughter. And I don't know how he feels towards the granddaughter and vice versa, her to him. Aww. She's safe now. I feel like whew, relief. Ooh, she still got, uh, but they can't pull it out just yet. Okay, so that was a good thing. When he said he saw a different future, I wasn't sure if he meant, like, something bad later on. Because, like, it got all dark. Uh, made my wish a reality. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Now you can believe. You can believe All Might will... Will live. You don't have to, like, that fear. That fear is what's been driving him crazy the past few years. <laughs> I love how Ryukyu is just. School, the alarm. Oh, rescue complete. Yeah, nine fifteen a.m. It's probably like a few hours since this all started, huh? Oh, yeah. 
I'm just scared he's gonna wake up and then- Oh no. Oh no. You sure were. <laughs> oh, are they getting the bullets? Are they or are they aiming for um Hasakai's um overhaul? Uh, or both or Toga Chan is pretty cute when she's not like crazy. <laughs> Anyways. Mm hmm. Dabi looks extra cool here. I don't know if it's just like because it's zoomed into his face. Not yet, Sand Hero snatched. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god, if, you know, Tomuraki's core gets to him. They already know, they already know. Oh, damn. I guess that that's what he did to Bakugo, right? He kept him in the little thing. Damn. Oh, because he doesn't have his hands, so he can't use his quirks now. I mean, all that too, you can't use your hands, but... He can't use his quirk now, and... Oh, but he's still just thinking about the boss. Like your hands to help the one he loves the most, the boss, but and... Oh, now his body is 
He can't heal. Oh my god, they let him burn? Oh damn. That's how the end of Overhaul goes? Damn. I thought they would just let him live in like this agonizing state. Is he actually dead? Also, there's less people around during the weekday. Dick. <laughs> mm hmm. That's exactly what he does. Yeah. We saw it during the Sir Night Eye fight. Ooh, look at that arm! Oh, is that from Eddie? Yeah, he he's not talking about it. Not as bad as yours, Deku. Or actually, I don't know. Ten stitches. Oh, Night Eye, what happened to him? It was like a little demon. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I just hope she's in good case. Like, I don't want someone else to take advantage of this situation. Like, maybe a doctor and be like, hmm, I could use her. Yeah. I mean, I cry, get a little prick. He he broke his body so many times, but Oh. Only works on organic matter, maybe? Is it me or does Deku look younger? I don't know. His face looks fresh like a baby. I, I don't know if that makes sense. but <gasps> I just had a thought. What if Rewind Girl, like... I'm not Rewind... Eddie, why did I say Rewind Girl? Oh! You're, you're, you're joking. Oh, okay. He's alive. I thought she was crying because he died. <gasps> You're joking! No way! I got so much chills. Oh my god, even his voice. Yeah, fight to live. Oh my god, this... Oh my god, I...
It's gonna change. You gotta give this man some hope before. Oh, like last episode near the end when it got all black and you see him smile. Like, I was afraid he was gonna die, but... Oh my god, I thought he had a day. It's a bright future. <sighs> there has to be something at the end. But I'm just so broken. <sighs> Watch this right before work is the worst idea. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just can't talk. I'm just, I cannot believe. I guess because, like, you know, with Shonen, there are deaths, but it's, like, rare times that it happens. And few occasional deaths that leads to, like, a main character, a character's progression. <sighs> yeah, but he had his... You know, the two people he most important in his life. I don't know if he has a family, but guessing since they're not around. But of course, his death came so fast, like, I didn't see it coming. Like, I had a small part of me was thinking maybe, but I was like, no, no, it, it can't. <sighs> Just Togata, like, once you saw Togata, like, marching in, you knew, oh my gosh, this is... Oh, he's gonna say something and then I was like and then I last him and all my got to meet again but it was on his deathbed it's oh there's nothing guys what a heartbreaking episode like I I don't know like I knew it was nearing the end but usually I don't know it always happens to me sometimes like I'm like oh when's the end coming but then once the end comes I'm like not enough it just felt so short and we saw Eddie's powers cannot be controlled so she definitely needs to be quarantined and uh, yeah Izuku cannot rely on her powers anymore so I mean now he has to go back to his usual 20% yeah because anyone I mean 
the nurse did mention like you know even though you don't really see the nurse doctor mentioned like even though you don't really see it like izuku every time he used 100 percent, he's been breaking his body but since she's like touching him she's in such close contact and touching him like he's been breaking and repairing so quickly and you know i think during the time she had this sense of relief so she was like calm and knowing she was safe and all but like right after it ended it's like the fight and flight right during when she's with izuku she's in like fight mode so like she's like her powers aren't in control but you know she's just you know a bit more steady because like she's with izuku but once it all ended i think yeah her powers like got in a flight and it all got released and she couldn't control it and an Aizawa sensor eraser head was the only one who was able to you know shut her down because anyone else if you touch her you could be reverted back to a baby to a monkey like who knows so it's like amazing that Izuku held out this long I don't know if he was breaking his body during this time to keep like her rewind in check throughout the whole episode they're like saying like I'm just worried about um Sir Night Eye, but like when you see, oh, he's got the care and everything, like you're like, okay, he's okay. Um, back to overhaul. I mean, I guessing this is the end. I mean, he doesn't have his hands. He can't. He can't reform anything. Tomura, Dabi, you know, League of Villains got the info. Got the info from Toga, and uh, yeah, they infiltrated the police, the police cars that was transporting overhaul, and uh, and he just lets him know, I hate you, and you know. Are these the bullets? So now the League of Villains have these bullets. And like, who knows what they can do? I mean, he, he said there's two boxes. I don't know if one of the boxes is the cure and the other box is the real thing. Or if one's a prototype and one is like, it's the real deal that does permanent damage, you know. You know, during this time, Overhaul is extremely exhausted. He can't even like, say everything he wants. But, um, you know, his last moments, he's thinking of the boss. Everything he wanted for the boss. And yeah, this this is his end. I wow i'm just kind of shocked that this is his end yeah and so league of villains they'll be back yeah they're just explaining the math aftermath of everything everyone's in the hospital but definitely the sir night eye part broke i'm pretty sure broke a few people you kind of felt it coming but at the same time you don't want to believe it so you keep thinking to yourself it's not going to happen it's not going to happen and then when it happens you're like wow oh my gosh but definitely togata breaking down and i'm just glad like, it was just so beautiful to see Sir Night Eye. Just like, you know, I just, I didn't just, I mean, at first I got you just because I wanted to find All Might's new vassal. But he definitely got to know Medio and appreciate him for him. And he looked into the future one more time. You know, he's scared to use it. But now that he knows the Deku has shown him the future can be changed. And he sees his, his hero, All Might, one more time. And, you know, like, you know, you could change, you could live. And Medio pleading with him like live live you could do it but you know you can hear it in his voice he's so like soft-spoken and he's like out of energy and he's just giving his all you can see all of these like medical like tubes going into him and you're like whoa the damage was that bad like I'm just thinking like plot twist if you could a ask Eddie to rewind all of this but you know that would lose the purpose of like how hard he tried and him changing his mind I don't know that's like a whole different debate I guess yeah just his last moments with everyone he knows and love and you know I just love the part where he told media you're gonna be a fine hero one day like I can see you have a future like you know because at first when you think Togata lost his quirk but there there's still a future out there <sighs> oh my gosh um it's gonna be it's gonna be a few hours before the next episode come out but uh I'll see you guys for next reaction. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to be jumping into episode 15 or episode 78. What's going to happen now? There's like, I'm assuming this is a new arc and uh, I'm just wondering if Overhaul died or not because you see the burn, but like, I'm just going to play the episode and maybe they'll give them more details and play. Damn, he... Yeah, it's just crazy. He just took everything that Overhaul has worked for. His hands, like now he can't give back to the boss. He took the 
the products of erasing cork drugs. Yeah, I feel like losing his arms just was everything. Now he can't, you know, physically do anything, so... Whether he's alive or not, damn. Damn, this moment, Shigaraki was like so terrifying. It's like, look at the look on Overhaul's face. Oh my god, what are they doing next? So, did they light him on fire? I mean, oh, okay, here we go! Oh, that's so cute! I like Kirishima with the headband. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, at least I'm hoping. We're going to focus back to the students now. Are we focusing on Jiro, this arc? Oh! Yeah, I want more Todoroki and Bakugo. Is this Jiro's arc? We've seen her. I think so. Okay. Because... Like, I like her, but, like, we don't know much about her. I feel like out of all the girls, she's the most represented. Most less shown. Oh, I love the little All My Mama Meteo. This is so colorful. Oh, Kana Boom, they're doing opening again. Oh, they're wearing all orange. Are they construction? I don't, I don't know. Oh, my God, they have a school play. Oh, that's why she's important, because she's got to play for the... Oh my god, they're going to have a school festival? Ah, oh, yeah, okay. This arc seems more chillax, I hope, I think. Yeah, he could disappear if he wanted to. I think he just doesn't care anymore. It's just, oh, well, if I'm seen, I'll just escape. You know? Smoldering thing. I like the soundtrack. It sounds like something from... The cowboys, uh. Do you hear the trumpets, the horns? I mean, they, they're, they're getting him? Is this really him? I'm scared it's gonna be, um, twice, uh... Or maybe he just thought he wouldn't get caught? Because he got caught so easily. the hell is it a giant oh, I guess he has some kind of quirk that if I ever go away in the field. oh search for that guy you you'll be the only one to protect him okay so he's got to gather up all the help that he can oh my god oh my god 
What the hell? Giganto Machia, meet the babysitter. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I hope they survived that. Okay, they said he was arrested. Maybe that's the car burning up? They were attacking Bentley. What? I know. I mean, like, all this in front of, like, kids' face. But I, don't, I forget, they're heroes. It's a... Uh... I wonder, like, Aizawa, now that, since he's the only one that can, you know, help Eddie, like, how much involvement does he have to see Eddie every day or whatnot? Because she can't control her powers. Yeah. Yeah, and I heard that, you know, with her quirk being rewind, people were scared she was able to reverse uh, Sir's death. Damn, the scars on his hand, never forget. Oh, Genki this. <laughs> He's so energetic. I just want to know if he can get his quirk. No? Because they can't use Eddie to make any more of the drug, but I thought maybe they had the cure or something. I guess night I just meant like you you'll still have a good future, but oh Yeah, you could still be a hero. Firefighters, just policemen. Mm hmm. Got a smile, Yuzuku. Those words would still haunt him. Because he can still technically give his quirk away to Medio. But. Yeah, like Izuku, you made that quirk yours. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, you're Deku the hero. But I understand the, the guilt. He. <sighs> oh? Oh, if she can, all right, if she could control her quirk, all right. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to see this part. It's... Man, I like his personality. Just just keep smiling. Oh. 
Oh, that was heartwarming. It brought a little bit of、uh, clothes for our deck. We need to investigate you. Eh,、uh、eh. -huh. Damn, Bakugo is gonna get so jealous. Yeah, let's see how everyone's doing. I wanna see. Oh, they still have to. Yeah, the training. Oh, whatever. We got used to you, Bakugo. <laughs> yeah, his Shoto doesn't give any shits about him. Damn. I wonder if they were investigated separately or. Oh, um, them too. Oh, from the heroes. Yeah, this feels like, you know, like the first two seasons. Just. Yay! <laughs> I love this like soundtrack. It's like, oh my gosh, it's paradise. It's. Oh no, don't、no, mention it! Actually, no, no, no. You're saying the good, right things, okay. What I really like about this show is it shows the consequences. It shows the aftermath of things. Like other shows just like brush it off. You're healed, like you're perfectly fine. There's no PTSD, there's no trauma, there's no lingering feelings. I like that this show shows you people have guilt, people have feelings, and they consider that. Like, you know, multiple times throughout this, the many seasons that I've watched. Uh, it's a secret. You can't tell people. Yeah. Oh, you know, with their past. And... Yeah. Ashido, you look, you look nice. Like, I like that they're wearing, like, casual clothes. It's <laughs> having a pout over there. You're gonna get hit. Just say you miss Deku. <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting him to talk. Okay. They got to test. They got to study. Yeah. Oh, okay. Once they pass that. Oh, look at Deku to wipe it off. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be fine this time. They've calmed down a bit. They're able to analyze. Yeah. Wow, 
Sometimes I feel like the season just started. I can't believe it's been 15 episodes already. Yeah. I realized after rewatching episode that Deku was continuously breaking his body while, you know, Eddie's powers is slowly getting stronger, but because Deku kept destroying his own body, she just kept, you know, rewinding and fixing everything. So, but after the fight was over and then her quirk just exploded. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's too fast. I just wanted him to feel better, but wow. He's only 15, 16. I'm thinking more 16, but I'm not sure their age. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking at All Might suit, I was thinking of... Oh, shoot. I was thinking of Best Genus, but... Nah. I don't know if he's better. Oh, the Giganto Maxa... Uh... Is this detective? Okay. Yeah. Letting that go. Oh, that. Yeah, he's so big. Where would he hide? Unless he can, like, you know, change his size. Like, the gigantic girl. Mount Lady. Yeah. Oh, that was a chilling soundtrack. Uh, I, I see Bakugo is just like a laughing stock now, but... <laughs> you know, he was introduced so menacing and scary, now he's just <laughs> being laughed at. Oh, we meet again. So Endeavor is the number one hero, right? Because no one's, like, really saying anything. They're just all, talking about All Might. Oh, now you want to talk, huh? I'm in a pickle. Yeah, I'm out of here! <laughs> a nice way to escape the situation. When I hear his voice and I hear shot <laughs> Hang up. Boop. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, it's um that guy. Inasa Yoroshiki. <laughs> Is it Kami or what was her name? Yeah, Kami. The real one. Yarashi. Did he say okay? What? 
I kind of ship Todoroki with Momo, though. <laughs> ah. Oh, the meatball guy. I don't disagree with Kami, though. Yeah. Um, how... Yeah. But Todoroki's too young. <laughs> You're so young. Uh, he's so adorable, though. Oh, it's uh, the orca guy and uh, examiner guy. What's the test this time? Oh, it's the end already? Alright, let's watch this. Alrighty, I'm liking the sound of it. I'm like 8 bit. Oh no, we're gonna see all of them! In oh, it's the sports festival! Like, I don't know if it's the sports festival, but it's, you know, like a festival. School festival, one of them. Me, is that Beatty over there? I love seeing everyone young. Um, Present Mike? I couldn't think, yeah. He's got all types of all my figurines, even. Um, Pop figurines. Oh, I love this shirt. Like, I love it when they wear like their casual clothes, like not in their school out uh, uniforms. Shout boy. Is that? I'm not sure. Wait. I need time. Uh, wait, what? At the bottom was that Toga? Media. Oh my god, we, we get to see Todoroki with his mom and dad's and brother, sister. Yeah. I know he has two brothers and a sister, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I like that he mouthed the last part. <sighs> I don't know, I really, really like this episode. I feel like it brought me back to, like, you know pacing because yeah I, I like it when we see the like you know regular slice of life school time and yes I really enjoyed this episode we get to see the aftermath and like at the beginning we get to see you know a little bit of we they replay they recap the part about emphasizing that you know the 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 League of Villains now have the pills. I'm not sure if they can reproduce this because you probably need Eddie for that and I feel like it's gonna be so much to rest to kidnap her because you know she would be under very tight security now and seeing how everyone is feeling and you know everyone goes in like Deku how are you like we haven't seen you in so long like uh what, what's been, kind of what's been going on but you know Ida I like that Ida jumps in because he knows exactly how that feels you know leave him alone you know they've been through a lot you know within the first five episodes or something like he already saw Deku somewhat breaking down because you know it's a lot for little kids I don't want to keep calling them little kids because they're like teenagers but you know 15 16 that's still young you're technically still a child you're not an adult yet so you know that's so much for him to bear and but you know after talking with Medio he he tries not to feel guilt for what happened to sir to Medio because Medio tells him like I'm gonna live that full life that uh sir has told me about like I'm gonna be just fine I'm gonna keep smiling for him and you know he's like you don't have to feel guilty you have to give me your quirk because Deku offered and I was like oh I was a little surprised by that because that you know Deku always wanted to be a hero and this was it and to offer his own quirk because yeah but Meteo's like you know Eddie's when and if Eddie ever gets control of her quirk you know, I'm gonna ask her and we're gonna try to get my own quirk back. And you can see how energetic he is. He's not, like, brought and bound down by this. Like, he let out everything during the last, the final time, the final time with Sir. And, you know, he's just gonna keep, keep pushing forward. And I really like that. I like that All Might didn't go and he's about to knock. But he's like, you know, let them have their moment. And uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just stand back, let them have their moment. And Bakugo and Todoroki, they're about to take their... uh provisional license exam again and uh, it's nice meeting everyone yeah seeing some old faces from the exam that didn't make it and uh, yeah we also get to see 
all might and endeavor meet. I wonder what they're talking about. And probably one of the most important part was definitely that um, you know the detective Gran Torino. They have tracked down where Kurogiri is. I'm I'm sure he's not even trying to hide. He's just like out in the open, and like you know we get to see this gigantic size of a man. Not sure if he can change size, but this is a huge this is a huge guy in the forest, and like he's like he's on the loose and escaped, and like. You know, he's so big, you'd think he'd, they find him, but, like, they're still on the search. And he was one of the ones who took care of uh, to- Shigaraki Tomura, and he's a loyal follower of uh, of All for One. That's That gets, like, all my thinking. But is Endeavor going to be talking about that with All Might? We know Endeavor's got some complex about All Might. He didn't fully earn that number one spot. You know, he, he has to mention former number one hero to All Might. And- but yeah, overall, that is pretty much it. I really like the opening and ending. It have, you know, like I said, back to like season one and two vibes where it was just, you know, about school stuff. Not not necessarily hero stuff, but school stuff. Like, yeah, first opening, it looks like they're going to be doing like a school festival kind of thing. Like, it, I really like these kind of, it's very chill and you know, bring back some of the fun parts. We get to see the other classmates because I really miss seeing all of them. And like I said many times, I like seeing them wearing their normal clothes and just like, you know, doing normal stuff, eating, talking, chatting, having fun, poking fun at Bakugo and making him angry because, you know, he was ignored a couple times. Like, hey, don't walk in front of me. But Torogi's like used to it or he doesn't care. He's just, you know, I'm pretty sure he's used to his dad, like, you know, nagging at him and he's just like, eh, shut, hangs up on him. He doesn't even care anymore. Yeah, I'm probably have, gonna have to rewatch the endings because, like, there was a couple of familiar faces, but, like, I, my head just couldn't think. And it was nice seeing, like, a young All Might or in the Sports Festival. And they did show, they did show Tokuro, to, Toroki's, like, older sister, which we've seen before. And I know he has two older brothers. One of them was just shown. I know the older brother is in college or something. Not sure about the other brother. But I will say, I did see, like, there was a theory about. Todoroki's brother. I'm not gonna say who it is. I'm not sure if the theory is real or not, but like I said, I'm not, I feel like, I, yeah, just please don't spoil me if like, you know, but this, this person who is supposedly Todoroki's other brother, you know, I, yeah, just, just don't tell me that, don't tell me. And with that being said, that is pretty much it for this reaction. Please let me know your comments and thoughts down below. I'll be sure to read them and uh, see you guys for the next reaction.